love Spice for Life. Don't write it down. <laughs> Where are we going? The top Gloria ever heard of it. Okay. <laughs> This is going to be the biggest comeback in pop music history. We all took regrettable swings back then. Everybody's got, you know, kind of confronting different things about themselves and ultimately like bending towards being like a, a more fully realized kind of better version of themselves. You know, Summer's character this season has an existential crisis because she realizes like maybe she has no core, her entire she worries like her entire being was maybe built by men. Well, I feel like Summer's journey is obviously relatable to me, but it's relatable, I think, to a lot of people, which is that she's found herself in this place where she has to kind of examine whether she really knows who she is or whether who she's ended up at this age and this time is kind of because of the influence of men in her life and society at large. Mm -hmm. um, and so she really has to like find who who is the me inside of me mm -hmm. um, and stand on her own and know that she can do great things as a she -E -O. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> bam, bam, and Dawn is, I think, learning for the first time that it's okay to take pleasure in this thing that you want. I think she really is someone who's very dutiful and loyal and takes her role as like wife and mom really serious and she's very practical in a lot of ways. And I love that you see her get to this place where it's really just all about the fact that Doing this brings me a lot of joy. It's not practical, it doesn't make sense. I have no reason to believe I can completely depend on this. I just want to go to there, to quote Tina Fey. <laughs> um, and I just love, I love seeing that abandonment because it's just, it's watching someone claim joy and I think that's really valuable. Welcome to Wiki's world. My life is music. And I don't do it for the awards or for money. I do it for both. Wiki is... <laughs> I can't, I can't a lot lie. of things, but one of the one of the biggest is a liar. <laughs> Wiki is a liar. The road felt like a good a good place to kind of tempt Wiki's very functional relationship with the lunch lord, <laughs> uh, and and see if she could you know she could withstand that temptation, and also you know there's a a great episode with her where she. Um, goes back home and we meet her parents. <laughs> it's kind of beautiful, not kind of, it is beautiful to see her stripped for a moment in this season of all of that, you know, no makeup, no hair, we've seen that before, but like in her childhood bedroom bed, um, like I guess removed of delusion, you know, for a moment and have to figure out who she is and there's really nothing sadder. Like, you think you've always wanted this. Like, you want her to be real, but when you see her like, stripped of this ridiculous ambition and, and, and this idea that um, she's owed something, um, <laughs> you realize, you know, it's like you take something from someone and then you're like, no, give it back. <laughs> That's kind of what happens to her, but it's good to see her not have it for a moment because I think there's some acceptance, some self-acceptance that that comes with it that's, that makes her just a little bit more relatable and understandable. Just call me House Spice. But don't write it down because it looks like hospice. Ah! My character back in the day when we were pop stars for a short minute, I, I lived in a totally different world society-wise and so I was like so secretly this queer person and so I just had to play the game of like, no, I want to go out with the boys after the tour or whatever and then I'd go hide and make up some excuse that I had a, the flu. And now I feel like Gloria is in this panic of like, now I've been given all the tools again. I have to do it right this time and I have to honor myself and like yeah. actually get the right partner. And I have to, you know, play with the fact that I'm now like a heartthrob to these dykes out here, you know, and I'm like, I get to do this. And it's just, it, I, I feel like a, a, an urgency with her the whole season, especially this season of like, I got to figure it all out. I got to figure it all out. And so, there's a sweetness to that. I just dislodged a piece of food from my teeth. <laughs> that tumbled around for a minute. So I'm just glad it didn't fl fall out or that we were on camera. <laughs> a lot of the arc of the season is about kind of 
a little bit of, you know, they want this brass ring of fame so much. And then at a certain point, they kind of are faced with like, what, what would life look like if you were the biggest star on the planet, you know? And where is, where is happiness? Where is fulfillment? Success is about the way you feel inside of your life. It has nothing to do with sort of like external measures. Mm -hmm. And I think taking the pressure off of reaching the highest heights, what does that even mean to someone? I think it's like, can we just be content with where we're at? And that, I love that we kind of land, that's, that's the place we land in this, in this season. It's not too high and not too low. Staying in the middle is the only way to grow, is because there's always somewhere to aspire to, there's always some reflection on where you've been, and that your relationship to both spaces is, is what it's all about. And mm -hmm. when you're in the highest high, there's no, only one direction to go, right? That's, That's right, down into the depths of hell, right. as we say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Gray Holland learns that. Yes. Yes. That's right. Ooh, Gray, Gray Holland. Holland. Gotten that level of applause since I agreed to leave an airplane. I love the idea of writing, you know, not just the one woman, like writing many women, you know. So um, I wanted to, you know, when I was thinking about developing a show, that was something that I really wanted to do. Um, just kind of write, like, an. Uh, an undeniably hilarious show, hopefully. Not, maybe, maybe not to everybody, but <laughs> to me, I think it's a great um, uh, show where you know, you've got ladies in the front seat being hilarious. It shouldn't be a radical thing at all, it's not. But just the fact that it's like a front-footed comedy with four main, um, with the, the main cast is all fem women over 40, which I think is awesome. Four grown ladies trying to be pop stars. Strap in. Oh,